Good morning. I love stocks. If you hit get a chance, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for future updates. And if you like it, hit that like button. So today we're going to talk about PLTR. There's a couple things going on with it, as we know, and we're at down here. I think we're pretty close to a bottom. PLTR. To me, they're nothing but a spying agency, which has a lot of momentum and a lot of social media behind it. I do like the stock. It has pulled back to a certain area where I think we can get in the trade and take a good bounce on it. You know, uh, Kathy Woods is a big owner of this company and she keeps buying on the dips. And she has a lot of shares of it. So we're going to go ahead and start talking about this. The unlocked for trading. So the date's coming. These are going to be unlocked and the floodgates have opened up. So people have the opportunity to sell their shares. They got into it early in the IPO. And I think that this stock, if you're smart, you'll want to hold it for long. There are going to be some people that want to get ahead and take their profit because they're up pretty good on it from the IPO. And uh, so we're just going to kind of go in straight into the chart. Now, there's uh, what else? There was something else that I was talking about. Revenue. Outlook disappoints. What's this? Pelotar Falls on 2020 Revenue Outlook disappoints. IPO lockup to expire. So let's go ahead and get right into the chart. First chart I want to pull up is called the Darvis Box. Here for the last few two weeks, we've had a little box that's kind of held down here in the support level. Let me pull this down so we can see it better. We've had a certain resistance level here at about 28, 28 and a solid support right down here, right around this 2497 area. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And then the Darvis box is just an indicator of a sideways, sideways pattern that can tell you when it's time to break or if it's still holding support in that box. And as you can tell, we've held support pretty good for two weeks. So we're going to go straight into my chart here, my Fibonacci TTM squeeze chart. I have a low support, I think, you know, down here right around the 2497 with a strong buy right here at 2373. That's going to be your strong buy area if it does pull back to that area. Now the resistance to break is going to be right here at 2778. Pull up to level 2. And right now, level two is at 26.36 to 26.40. So the spread's pretty tight. And I like that. So the earnings were off just a little bit. But I think with the social media behind this, this is going to have a nice little run. We've had more than a five-day sell-off. Even on the fifth day, we started to consolidate. And then yesterday, Thursday, we had, as the notice was coming down with the the, the unlocking of the lockdown, she did have a nice little pullback for a good entry. So the resistance, like I said, we needed to break is going to be this 70, 2778. And if we can get past that, the next one's going to be here at 2942. And then we're going to have a solid resistance right here, right around the 3151. And that's right there where the 200 EMA is on the 20 day chart. So I'm bullish on the trade. And I just say, you know, take your time with it. There's going to be a lot of people hyping this stock up. They even come out thinking that this is going to be another G GME, GameStop stock. And I can already see the fat cats already starting to bash the retail traders on this trade. But we don't really care about the fat cats because they've been in our way for a long time. And they've got away with slaughter on how they control the market. And you can see it every day with the headlines that come out. <laughs> You start to get it bullish in the trade, and all of a sudden the negative headlines start to come out. Same as Tesla, and I can name a bunch of other stocks the same way. But they are uh, taking choose at the tech sector, and this I would consider to be a tech stock in a way. And so you just got to kind of be patient with it. But I think we have a lot of big investors in here, and then knowing that Kathy Woods is very positive about the stock. I think she'll take it and run it all the way up to about 38 and maybe even take it here to a triple top up here right around 43 something. But our resistance to break that we need to really pay attention to are two resistance levels 
and that's at 2778 and 2942. And that's it for I Love Stocks. We're going to be on this today. I'm going to be in the trade today if I see any kind of pullback, and I'm going to jump in it in the option chain. And let me go ahead and pull up a little website here. We have a little Twitter link here. If you would please follow us on Twitter. We're posting alerts in here at all times. We have PLTR, as we say. We think it can go over 40 bucks. And the calls that we're in right now are the $25 calls for $335 for March 19th. And that's from Miss Vegas. And she, we're always posting alerts in here. Also, if you like, we have our stock twits accounts linked in here, and you can follow us here on our stock twits where I'm posting alerts in here at all the times, showing off some of the videos that we do. And then we go back here to the website, Miss Vegas has hers right here. Follow that button there and follow her. She's posting alerts in here at the same time. We have a $40 price target on target on PLTR. Wish everybody a happy trading session. It is Friday, and wish me a happy birthday. I turn 60 today. Merry Christmas, Jim. And I'm going to start to warm up. Feel sorry for you people in the south that aren't used to this kind of weather. I live in Missouri, and I ain't used to it, too, when you have minus 25 degrees with about a foot of snow. But they said it ain't got this bad since 1958 with the cold weather. Now, I do remember the 1977 snowstorm that the country had, and we were up to about two foot in that, almost three foot of snow then in Missouri. So I wish everybody a great day, and always remember, I love stocks.